In the peaceful suburb of Meadowville, there lived a golden retriever named Max. Max was more than just a furry companion. He was the epitome of joy and enthusiasm. His day always began with an exciting trip to the nearby park. Each morning, Max would eagerly nudge his owner, signaling his desire for a park adventure. With a leash in hand and a wagging tail, they set off on a journey to the Green Haven, where Max's canine dreams came true. The park was a paradise of scents, sights, and sounds that fueled Max's boundless energy. Upon arrival, Max would sprint across the open fields, chasing after imaginary friends or fluttering butterflies. His golden fur glistened in the sunlight as he splashed through puddles and rolled in the grass, reveling in the simple pleasures of the outdoors. The other parkgoers couldn't help but smile at the infectious joy Max brought to the space. After a hearty session of fetch and playful interactions with fellow dogs, Max's favorite part of the day approached the majestic oak tree near the park's edge. Its sprawling branches provided the perfect shade for Max to unwind. With a content sigh, he would find a comfortable spot, lay down, and observe the world around him. As the gentle breeze rustled the leaves overhead, Max's excitement gradually transformed into a peaceful calm. The rhythmic sounds of nature and distant laughter from children playing became a lullaby, signaling the transition to Max's favorite post-park activity nap time. Max's owner would spread a cozy blanket beneath the oak tree, and Max, with his head resting on his paws, would drift into a serene slumber. The park, once alive with the vibrant energy of play, now cradled Max in a tranquil embrace. People passing by often marveled at the sight of the contented golden retriever dreaming away beneath the oak tree. Max's park adventures not only brought joy to him, but also became a source of delight for the entire community. His love for the park and the ensuing peaceful nap created a heartwarming routine, reminding everyone that sometimes the simplest pleasures could lead to the most profound contentment.